Uh, we'll move straight in with big segment of news. Last Sunday, WWE aired the fifth and final chapter of The Last Ride. I still haven't seen all of them. I wanted to watch them in a chunk. I've watched two. Um, and so far, they're very, in, uh, very thrilling. Basically, The Undertaker has turned around to say he is retired. He is done with in-ring competition <laughs> until Vince McMahon begs him to come back. He has said that he's done everything he needs to in his career, which fair point. Let's be, let's be honest. He's been absolutely incredible. And I know Sean's going to have a lot to say on this. <laughs> Maybe, after, maybe. Our, after our YouTube <laughs> video of uh, our favourite all-time wrestlers. Um, yeah, guys, what, what, what's your opinions on... We'll start with Sean. We'll start with Sean. What's your opinions on, on Takers hanging up the boots the way he did? Uh, I really wish he'd, like, had a last match where he put somebody over. Cause it's kind of weird that his last match was with AJ, and he won. And then he's just sort of announced on a documentary, Oh, I'm gone now. Bye. <laughs> and it's just nobody really benefits from that yeah it's it, it is it is an interesting way joe what is your opinion on um the potential of him coming back to you know if if we get crowds back within by next wrestlemania do you reckon we're going to see him wrestlemania 37 putting someone over i don't think we'll see the rest i'm done to take that at another wrestlemania ever again i do however think we'll see the um, undertaker wrestling at to Saudi Arabia, Benzie. <laughs> Yay. Who is it, the so-called Michelle McCall expensive? Is it AJ? It wasn't it? Okay. I, yeah. Yeah, they go. And AJ, I was looking through my notes from the old podcast because I was feeling very nostalgic just before this. And you know what? Um, AJ started that feud just because The Undertaker's wife stole his finishing move. I mean, <laughs> I'll pay. <laughs> It is. Yeah, I mean, it's AJ Styles. Come on, it's here, AJ Styles. He's petty as they come. Um, I'll, I'll mention something I saw on Twitter, which was absolutely brilliant because it was like the first image and then someone cropped it and made another one. And it was like 1990, a kid with a sign saying, welcome to the Undertaker who walks to the ring. 2020, it was a sign, the same kid set, well, as an adult, sitting there with a sign that said, thank you, as, as obviously take a left. Someone then added one onto the bottom that said 2021 saying, what are you doing back? <laughs> we're gonna get it we're gonna, gonna get gonna it happen. it's gonna happen it's gonna the happen the thing is I don't, I don't think anyone ever really retires from wrestling I forget exactly who it was that said it but they said it was, it was, it was The Undertaker I think <laughs> but you either like you can't like you're too injured to rest at, like you physically can't yeah or like you die You like there's no in between. You don't ever retire from wrestling. Like Terry Funk, look at that guy. Yeah, it's Terry Funk, um, I'm sorry I love you, super kick. <laughs> what feels like two months later, you talking to me about the <laughs> four horsemen? <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting uh, impression there, Joe. It was an impression of, it was a drunk impression of Jay Lethal doing an impression of Ric Flair. No. Like they that. Have that um that woo off like the best segment in wrestling that, yeah that, that that, was, yeah and, and my point being it was after rick flair's retirement. actually no <laughs> the best the best moment in the wrestling involving jay lethal was when uh randy savage debuted in tna because it's the first of he's like oh my god i've been ripping you off for the last 10 years and you're actually here uh okay um i'm not gonna ask sean this question because i know his answer i'm gonna ask joe and <laughs> reese is yeah. the undertaker the greatest of all time I don't know. Is he a racist? I don't think. He well, he, he, he had a, in, in, law, in the last ride. He had a hat that said "Don't tread on me," which is the uh, yes. Peter Pete. Yeah, that blue lights matter T-shirt. You know, <laughs> we we gotta address that. Right, we move on. <laughs> I, th um, I think like, so, like ask Reese, but like my 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 take on how like honestly, I'll be one hundred percent frank here, just purely from wrestling perspective. Take a um, take a show one and two. At Mania, um, those are that is the beginning of the seed, which got me watching as regularly as possible, possible regularly to the point where I'm here now. I, I feel qualified to even speak about this in a critical way. You know, I've always I've always liked wrestling, but it was, was always in the background until I saw those matches. Then that brought it a little bit more to the forefront, and then there was a little bit more that brought it further still. But um, 
I feel, I even forgot what your question was. Wait, what, what well, he could be considered one of the greatest in the WWE, sure. But from what I've been, um, from what I've seen, uh, those map he it took him for a very long time to hit that quality of Sean. Sean, you know, it took it took him quite a while. So, yeah. I I think that's um, leading on from that. That's kind of a point I was going to raise. Like people will say the Undertaker, he's had this incredible 30 year career and it has lasted 30 years. But remember for like the last 10 of that, he's not really been active week in, week out. It's kind of just been popping up, yeah. um, you know, once or twice a year. So like, yeah, he's definitely in that conversation when you're talking like the WWE all time greats. Hmm. Um, is he actually the greatest, like the number one, I'd say, like probably not number one he's probably like in the top five somewhere and um, i've just seen a lovely comment from uh, matt saying he wants me to feel like uh, he's david moyes just watching him uh, watching me in the stands as, as, Wait, as he he's, he's david moyes so you're david moyes and uh, alex ferguson i'm david moyes and he's alex ferguson yeah more or less that is that is what i'm getting there um I have a proper question for you, all three of you. Um, what is your favourite Undertaker moment and Undertaker match? And I'm going to start with Reese because his face is on my Zoom screen. Um, so match-wise, I don't know if it's like a recent thing, but like the Boneyard match was like nothing else I've ever seen before in wrestling. And, you know, like wrestling matches are... Obviously, each match is different. Each match tells a different story, has different moves. The Boneyard match is completely different to every other wrestling match ever. Um, and obviously, AJ Styles being my favourite wrestler, um, so there's that going for it as well. So I'll say the Boneyard match as my favourite Undertaker match. Your moment? Um, favourite moment was every week on SmackDown, uh, Teddy <laughs> Long making him go against people. Holla, holla. <laughs> great, great shout. Uh, Sean, you are the resident Undertaker fan in, well, biggest fan out of the four of us. What is your favourite Taker match? Oh my god, okay. So there's there's a load that I could choose on that one, but I'm going to go with that Shawn Michaels match from WrestleMania. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to go with the, Kurt, with the Kurt Angle match from No Way Out 2006. That's great shout. Yeah, great that is a fantastic shout. match. Fantastic match. What about a moment? Because he's had so many iconic, random, like really random moments. Yeah. Do you remember uh, Survivor Series 2005? Randy Orton was like the sole survivor. Then the casket is brought out. That's sets my on one. fire and Taker just bursts out and like, takes Push everyone out. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that is. I'd say that one is mine. Or the image of him at the house show when he's hulking up, running up and down the um, apron. <laughs> I forgot just, about that. So un I so just unlike him. Uh, Joe, what is your favourite Taker match? Really cited it, and he didn't pick it, so I'm going to. It's. it's I, I don't 26. think you can talk about one without the other. It's the two back-to-back -back matches with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania. They're incredible. Yeah, I like that. I've always been torn on mine because I've, I've I've always had like three I'd always, I'd always say Randy Orton from Wrestlemania 21 because that was like the first time someone was like the streak is at risk this this yeah. is the streak is going to end at some point yeah. and Orton was so wanted to do it uh, 24 against Edge was was incredible another in, uh, a great match and 29 against CM Punk um, mm. from an in-ring standpoint I think 29 CM Punk is a, is, a, is a very good one I think mean, 29 from an in-ring standpoint stands at his best because obviously after that it was 30 where he got concussed it sort of just dropped down and he had the confidence loss and we boosted it up uh, on to uh, on to what we are now talking about but, the Undertaker uh, if, I'm, if, I'm very upset because you glossed over me I have an answer you asked me oh, well, what was your favourite moment sorry Joe completely disregarded disregarded sorry, what was your favourite <clears> moment <throat> he's going to flush the toilet where to, Stephanie? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, he he, um, he also had some absolutely ridiculous moments as well. Like, wasn't wasn't it him? Oh no, it wasn't even him. It was Big Boss Man. Was never um... he hung, but he but Big Boss Man, didn't he, from the cell with the help I, of I was the Big Show's dad's coffin. That was that was Big Boss Man. <laughs> Can you imagine Taker doing that? <laughs> just in another hearse, just. 
the other, I think the other one is with the where to Stephanie. The other good one is where to Teddy because, but that's that is just because. Oh no! Te- oh no! Teddy is. Um... That's great, but like, where to Stephanie for me? Like, that's the old iconic line. Yeah, you know, yeah. there's any of the times where he hijacked someone's car. <laughs> <laughs> or tried to like marry Teddy, her. No, the Teddy Long one is better because of Teddy, like, he had Teddy Long to sell it. But, like, <laughs> where to, yeah, that, like, and the smoke flows into the car. It's, that's brilliant. And it's, but the iconic line is where to Stephanie. <laughs> you know, with your um, own history, he tried to crucify her once. He tried to marry her against yeah. her will. She's had a lot of weddings, this cat woman. Three. It, it's, it's like a classic um, WWE revisionist history. Like, they forget all the problematic stuff he's been involved in. <laughs> How many times has Stephanie McMahon been married on screen? How many of them are against her will? Two. I have, a, I have a, I, actually, I, I have a question. It's just come into my head. Go on, then. Off the top of my head, it's regarding The Undertaker. What it regard minor Shawn Michaels for Mania 25 and 26. What are his best? What is his best Mania match? In you the know, street? okay, can I can I um, jump in here? The Go on. the Hell in the Cell match with the under, um, not the under, he is the Undertaker with Triple H. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, absolutely like fantastic match. And like, I realistically, yeah, technically, the, technically but, those two matches you talked about are trilogy. But, right. um, you know, there were moments, like that one bit, especially... The ball, are you on about the ball tickle where Sean hit the switch of music into the pedigree and you were like, oh my God, the streak's actually going to end. Oh yeah. my fucking God. And then the, the bit with the sledgehammer as well. Like, yeah, I was like, you know, there were moments where I was like, the streak is about to end, even though, like before, you never would have seen that. So no. I'll say that one, the Hell in a Cell match. Sean? Uh, probably the Randy Orton match. Like that, like you said earlier, that's the first time you thought, "Oh my god, the streak's going to end," and yeah. maybe it should have. Like autumn would have been pretty cool <laughs> to end the streak. So yeah, probably that one. Um, um Joe Batista, twenty-three. Yeah, it's a good shout. Twenty-three was a good match. What was it? I just love Batista. How do you guys look? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I, th- I still think one of my favourite images it- images of Taker is when he beat up Rick- when he beat Ric Flair and he stood there like doing a ten just covered in blood and all that. Uh, well, that, that was my next bit. If 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 he was to come back though, if Taker was to come back, have one more match. If Christian goes one more match, who would you want to see him put over? Who would you want to see? You want to see Christian get put over by the Undertaker? <laughs> That's not a serious answer, by the way. <laughs> I, I, think, I think it's got to be that guy you just mentioned. Like, so, Orton. Hey, Christian. No, Orton. <laughs> Orton has just beaten Edge. And he's just beaten Christian. Like, I know that. We're about to beat the big show. We kind of got to right. So, yeah. are we seeing what? Legend killer? In the year of our Lord, 2020, we're about to see big show versus. But are we going to see. But, but do we really want to see legend Randy Orton, legend killer? Because he is a legend. And he's so a legend he can, he can, you know, maybe beat if, say if Goldberg spit, at SummerSlam. Um, if he spits in Goldberg's face, I'm all for it. I was actually anticipating some, you know, realistic answers like Alistair Black. That was my oh, answer. Honestly, Alistair, 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 Alistair Black is my answer. Yeah. He and Sean are on the same wave now, too. Yeah, the person. new Mr. Spooky. Take, have him take him out. I just want to see a serious. Stone Cold drive, but Alistair Black reverse it and then hit and roll it back now. Oh, I, I genuinely think that <laughs> Undertaker is, Undertaker's coming sure, back for one more match and it's going to be Randy Orton at WrestleMania. I mean, I wouldn't be against Roman Reigns again because after 33 and the This Is My Yard Now was beautiful, uh, that would be great to see Reigns go for it again, but... I think Alistair Black probably would be the best bet to go with because I can't think of anyone else. <laughs> Dexter Loomis. Imagine, Alberto <laughs> Correa has retired the Hunter. Dexter Loomis. Yeah, that's a hard one. Um, Indian yeah. Priest, he's oh. big. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's all right. This is, yeah. Kane. The Latinx Dominatrix. Doesn't need, doesn't need it. 